Hey guys, I'm AJ. I'm Rini. And welcome to TFA Talk Show. So for today, we have a very special guest. His name is Nicholas. And Nicholas is the design anthropologist who teaches design methodologies at Singapore Institute of Technology, SIT. He teaches design innovation to designers and non-designers. He's also running the Everything Design Show podcast. So welcome, Nick. Okay, hi. Thank you. Um, so... I am actually uh, have been teaching at SIT for uh, four years. This is coming to my fifth year. And over the past few years, I've always been trying to build a stronger connection with the local design industry. So that's why I decided to start with this Everything Design Show. When you were starting off, uh, coming of your content for Everything Design talk show, right? Are there any barriers that you face along the way? Um, I think f- um, from a technical side, it maybe came to you know getting equipment, uh, for example, the microphone, the headphones, uh, things like that. The biggest challenge for me la, was always just starting something. I think mm, um, you know we we talk about you know doing something. We want to have our dreams, our goals, our yep. aspirations, um, and I feel that you know what really uh, the hardest thing is to just be able to start something. So for me, it was really just, you know, saying that, okay, let me just invest my money, buy a bit of equipment, pay for the hosting rights, hosting platforms, buy a website, uh, and just get things started. You know, for me, it was, um, you know, rather than just, oh, uh, I don't know what website to choose, I don't know what equipment to buy. After I reached a stage, it felt like it was more of an excuse. You know, I just had to, uh, rather than thinking, oh, you know, let me wait for this, let me wait for that. I think it was a decision to just, you know, start something and do something. I can totally relate on the just start, you know, <laughs> like, uh, I mean, creating content is something that, uh, not many people would want to explore because I think uh, I think it's like s- certain fear that we have in us that okay should I do this should I not do this it's a matter of like there's voices behind us that is telling us not to do anything so you were talking about um, equipments you did buy equipments for your podcast maybe you can share with us what are the equipments that you have right now for your own podcast Luckily enough, I have a bit of uh, money and I was able to purchase about, you know, I, 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 I put down about $1,000 to buy a mixer, two microphones. I have my camera equipment that I've, I've always had for over the years. Um, the laptop, you know, it, it's, it's there. So, so you, ha- you do have some sunk costs already from your previous, you know, from previous equipment. Um, but I think that, you know, what starts out is, you know, all actually all it takes, uh, a lot of my, my guests on my own show, um, that I've been speaking to, we've been meeting uh, through Zoom, right? Or through online platforms mm. or through WhatsApp even. I did a WhatsApp call just recently. Um, and I, I just, I, all I asked them to do was, oh, do you have a earpiece, all right? So a earpiece is actually a very good, um, it's very good in terms of isolating that sound. That's right. Um, so I think, you know, if, if, if you feel that the barrier for you to start your own content is about equipment, then I, I would say, you know, don't worry so much about that. So the, um, the podcast world is known to be overwhelmed. There's a lot of podcasts um, available. So how do I make myself unique in the podcast world? How to be unique, I think it's to be a, have a very clear target audience. Like for me, myself... My target audience is to, 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 to talk about local Singaporean designers or designers in Asia, right? Um, this includes like Australia, um, Malaysia, I- Indonesia, uh, Hong Kong, India. So I'm showcasing Asian designers within a dialogue, within a discussion that is mostly populated by the Western world. So that's the thing that I'm trying to discuss. And I think that's the, the unique thing um, about the platform that I have. Um, and that's what I, I, I feel that um, is an important aspect. Okay, Nick, so is there maybe like a simple step or like a checklist for us to follow in creating content for a podcast? I think sitting down and planning and saying to yourself, okay, what do I want to speak about on my own on my podcast? Um, is my co- podcast going to be um, a dialogue just, you know, between myself uh, and just the camera or the microphone? Um, is my is my podcast going to be a discussion between me and someone else? Is it going to be interview style? So I think thinking about the format of your podcast is also very important. Um, if you are uh, if you are good at writing out your content, uh, writing out uh, typing out everything, 
um, you know, you can always do a, a, a singular uh, a person uh, podcast on your own. So you can talk to the microphone and, you know, just keep talking about a particular topic. Um, once you've decided the format, then you're deciding on what is the theme. If you have these two things down, um, what format you will like, what theme you will like, um, I think that's already a very good start. Nice. Okay. Maybe... Um you were talking about your your podcast, which is the design design show, right? So maybe you can tell us more about the inspiration of this podcast of yours. Okay, so with design in Singapore, um, I've always felt that there are many different players in the game, right? Of course, you got your big agencies, uh, mm. you have you know your your very famous uh, designers that are you know within the the fields of you know maybe uh, advertising, graphic design, yeah. print. Um, but I feel that I'm constantly being I'm constantly seeing the same people being showcased and I feel that within my circles and within the people around my circles I think there are a lot of there's a lot of talent and I feel that there's a lot of people we can showcase the world of design especially in Singapore so I think that's what got me to to kick off this everything design show because I feel that there's a lot more to talk about with design design is moving away from this dialogue of just aesthetics or what is uh, p- uh, pleasing to the eye. Um, but design serves a very much bigger function in the world that we live in today. There is a lot of societal benefits. There are, sort of, there are lots of impacts to the community. We're sort of seeing how design can be used for you know the greater good to solve different types of problems. Mm. And I think this platform with the Everything Design Show, the, the purpose of, of it is to educate people uh, on how you know design plays a part in our everyday lives. That's why I, I sort of called it everything design, which is to mm. say that ev- design is everywhere and it is is it is ingrained in everything that we're doing. So design is something that I'm trying to educate the general public on through this. But at the same time, I'm also trying to showcase designers that that uh, and give them a, a, a platform to talk about the things that they want to talk about and to sort of talk about their talents, their works, uh, their businesses. So that really has been the goal. You know, it's, it's a two-pronged approach in terms of what I'm trying to do here. And, you know, I hopefully I will be able to continue with this to have this as a weekly, uh, uh, mm. a weekly um, show that I can continue to do. So before we let you off, okay, before we let you off, uh, maybe you can just uh, share with us uh, one piece of advice, if let's say, for anyone who wishes to start, uh, what would that one advice be? I think don't be scared to share your content. I think that that's the number one thing that I would like to, to share with everybody. I mean, um, I'm sure people who watch me or look at me, they will think, yeah, what's this, what's this you know, <laughs> random person talking about? What does he know about design? You know, he's, he's, he's not, uh, he's not, uh, he's not a, a, a world-renowned designer. Uh, <laughs> but, I, you know, to me, it's, you know, it's okay. I mean, to me, that's, that's you, you have, um, you're going to have people who, who don't agree with you, which is fine. And, and I think it's about having the open discussion. And like I said, it's, it's just about putting your content out there. There's going to be people who don't like your content, then take that feedback and try to improve that content. There are people who are going to like your content, then, you know, what do they like about it? And, you know, um, share, share, um, you know, make sure you, you put more of the types of content that people like and, you know, share that out. Yeah, so to uh, sum, sum it up now, Nicely, like what Nick have mentioned. So, you know, the very uh, very famous motto uh, from Nike is just do it, right? Yeah, so this is something that uh, it's a reminder for us as well, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so anyways, um, a really, really a pleasure to have you with us, Nick, even though it was a very brief introduction when we first met. Um, really, really nice to, to hear from you. And I feel that both of us, we also have a lot of takeaways from uh, your sharing just now. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Nick, for being with us. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this episode and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode.